Next up, we've got a very messy interview with Apollo Burning Body. Apologies, it was a hell of a night the night before. Can you tell if I'm drunk or hungover? Fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> Today we are the most hungover the lowdown has yes. ever been with Danny and Ruben from Apollo yes. Burning Body on a Sunday night. Is that is that every night with you guys? Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like death, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> like I literally I feel like I don't know where I'm coming or going. If this is the worst interview ever, blame these two. <laughs> It'll be good. So Donington, like it felt like a a coming of age thing for you lot when it comes to the UK because like having done enough runs in the States and like I saw you for the first time in New Jersey mm -hmm. like it felt like with the UK it was a moment for you guys arriving when you first played download is it did it feel that way on stage uh, yeah definitely, definitely. Like I said uh, I was telling you before it was like we we're almost all gonna come to tears because it was just like that amazing of a moment and, like to have all these thousands of people never been here before singing our lyrics that loud is like shit we, yeah, as you could hear over the pa like we're playing and we're like what the fuck is going on like we, we thought, did we, you have any <laughs> idea that that was going to be the thing no way. we were going to be we were going to be like ha stoked with like 150 people who knew who we were maybe and like <laughs> yeah. call it a day and then just have a great time and then all and then the tent just packs out and it gets nuts and we're like are we dreaming or? to the brim it was Man. To the brim. like two records deep as well like i heard stuff from your third record last night but like like up until this point does it feel like you've made your reputation as a live band i i think it's it's getting there like we still have people who who say like you know i, I wasn't too sure or or maybe they liked it but once they saw it live then it was it was either better or now they're fans so i think it's it's becoming that like we're more arriving and I think with the new record hopefully that just speaks for itself and and they'll come see it live and it'll be better still but but they'll already love it you know it feels like it's a tough deal for a band that's like heavy but got like melodic and like catchy and that kind yeah. of thing like it's always like I feel like it's almost like a cardinal sin if you've got hooks for a yeah. heavy band, right, but like right. it shouldn't be. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. Like we get we get shit all, all the time from our like diehard fans that are like you know they don't want us to change. They're like you got to stay brutal and metal the whole time. Well, especially no, when we tour it. with like <laughs> we'll tour with you know bands that aren't like just met like heavy yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. and you know I'm not gonna name any because a, lo a lot of bands we na we do that with are friend are our friends so it's, I don't want to seem like we're bashing them because they're great and so but we love doing tours like that because it's more diverse you get their fans you bring your like whatever and it's just a lot it's a lot more fun to me I, I don't see why people wouldn't want to go to a show like that as opposed to an all soft show or an all Balls to the wall show, you know what I mean? Like I think mixing it up is variety, great. Yeah. But when we do it, people are like, "Why are you doing that?" Tour? Why are you doing it's that like, tour? What are you talking with these bands for? Because yeah. they're our friends, and it's it's a fun time. And does, does it feel like like festival crowds is like a time? You did, you guys did Warp Tour last summer. Like, does it feel like a time to capture other people that kind of might have heard your name but yeah. not know what you're about? Of course, yeah. Yeah, that's what that tour was all about. Is mm -hmm. just trying to get 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 more fans in. Get capture that crowd and show them what our live show is, you know what I mean? Are you, like, I, I feel like I don't have to ask this question, especially this morning. Are you a sociable band, like when it comes to like <laughs> hanging with other bands and that kind of shit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have a reputation around, you know, I think people know. Mate, <laughs> my head is it. pounding, your reputation is deserved. Everybody knows, it's like, ah, oh, today's nothing's going on, nobody's really partying, and you can always be like, I know where there's a party. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to that place. Like, have, have you, like, who have you made buddies with? Like, I know when we came out and did Mayhem, it was you guys and Askin were hanging a lot. Yeah. Like, tons. Uh, we did a uh, Black Dahlia was our homies on. Oh, uh, really? Because they're the we were like they were like the metal band on our stage, so they're like, well, you guys seem cool. Let's let's hang out. Let live. Let live. Because yeah, nice. Those, those guys are real them, cool guys. Uh, uh, tons of bands. Who was? Crown the Empire? Yeah, yeah Crown the Empire. Dude, we, those like, are, those, they're from Texas too, so. Those, Washi those Sleeps are, too, they're, those ah, guys are awesome. awesome. Yeah, those guys are so, awesome. I mean, so many, who else? I mean, there's, just on that tour alone, I mean, even outside that, there's there's been a Soundwave. lot of Soundwave, Soundwave was Soundwave, another yeah. great example. We met tons of bands, like El, met El Nino. Nino. Yeah, we're chilling <laughs> with El Nino. Like, oh, man, Sometimes I feel the need to ask, like, oh, Alive or Dead, if you could play with any band. With you lot. I know what the answer is. Right? Yeah. We, like the only time I've ever been convinced that a Pantera thing is a good idea, like with Zach playing guitar, is with you guys. Do you think that could be a thing? Uh, is that would that be the, uh, the ultimate thing? Like, is like your band, like Texan metal, represent? Like, yeah. 
for getting us to the play. chance to play with that band. That would be it. That'd yeah, be I think that, I think that's our one that we don't have that that seemed like it w it wouldn't happen, but now it's becoming like maybe it could. And and uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, we're just like shh, we're we're hoping for it. I mean, I know a lot of people are kind of iffy because it yeah. you know obviously you know dimes not there. Yeah, but you know the the reality is it's not gonna be the same, but that's as close as you'll get. Yeah, so. yeah. Man. And we never got to see him, so it's like shit. I gotta see Pantera before I die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just saying this because they got me drunk last night. The best live band in metal I've seen since Lamb of God. Make sure you catch up on a burning body at download. I'm going for a fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs>